case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2002 case of JSV State at the Alaska Supreme Court, parental rights came under scrutiny for a man convicted of sexually abusing his three sons. The man, referred to here as Jack, faced the end of his paternal connections to his three boys Avery, Lyle, and Carl in a case involving abuse, rehabilitation attempts, and procedures surrounding the Indian Child Welfare Act. It started with an unsettling discovery when the boys tested positive for cocaine at birth, resulting in their placement outside of their mother's custody. Things took a darker turn when reports of sexual abuse came to a head, leading to Jack's arrest and subsequent conviction. The court assessed the situation, taking specific considerations such as the length of Jack's incarceration and the needs of the children. Jack was presented with a state-produced treatment plan, a plan he declined as it necessitated his admission to the abuse and the cessation of his criminal appeals. However, this did not sway the court. Despite Jack's protests of superior court errors, the court remained firm in its determination to terminate his parental rights. The court placed significant weight on expert testimony during the decision-making process. This expert-led insight advocated for the termination of Jack's parental rights, asserting that maintaining such rights might result in severe emotional harm to the children. The case served as a precedent in instances where parental abuse causes irreparable damage, reinforcing the notion that under the Indian Child Welfare Act, the state has the responsibility to undertake active efforts to reunify families. However, it is also under this act that expert testimony can be tapped into terminating parental rights as necessary. Even with these efforts, the foremost priority remained the kids' welfare, ultimately leading to the severance of Jack's parental rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.